And here is one more very common scenario is for DevOps. It is applicable to both on-premises ADFS, like previous example, or it can be even applicable to just the 365 environment. So what this is all about, basically, your Azure DevOps audit logs. So if you have DevOps and attacker wants to disable the log ingestion from DevOps to your seam, you want to make sure you get notified. And here is talk about defense, so MITRE attack, which I will give you a high level overview in the future lab, what it is. But an attacker looking to hide <clears throat> Azure DevOps activity and they can disable the data streaming before conducting the activity. So it means basically you will not have any visibility. They will disable the log injection, log ingestion and they will do whatever they need. So at the time of investigation, threat hunting, forensic, whichever the case is, you will not have enough data to look into that. So that's why if you are using DevOps in Azure, which so many companies, they do have their development team to use develop DevOps or infrastructure as a code or as a code for automation, scripting and all that. So this is where it's going to be applicable. So again, this is a case you want to create a rule. So if you see the change from the previous one and now somewhere it was selected persistent and some of them we saw the initial access and in more example, we'll see the execution one, right? So that's how these are there. So, so these are there, these things, you just need to use and start with the default one.